So you've had a spiritual awakening and now you're wondering what to do. I've been there too and so I'm going to help you through it. Hi, my name is Lauren O'Connell and I am the beauty editor at Cosmopolitan Middle East Magazine. I'm also a spiritual and beauty blogger, believe it or not, those two, <laughs> I'm putting them together. And I talk about spiritual wellness, makeup, beauty, skincare, all those great things on my different social media platforms, as well as my website, planetlauren.com. I'm also the author of ebook. It's called Manifest Like Lauren, and it's $29, 30 pages long, and full of just information on how to kind of tap into your potential so you can start manifesting your best life. I am a master manifester, so I've shared my formula. It's fun and easy to read. Also linked down below. So I've had a spiritual awakening too, and it happened to me five years ago. It was as if the universe picked me up on my hair and just started slapping me back and forth saying, wake up, wake up, and then dropped me once I did. And what I will say when they dropped me, it was into a beautiful <laughs> net, but I did feel the drop. And I thought I was losing my mind. I had gone through this traumatic experience, which usually when you have a spiritual awakening, there is some sort of trauma involved, whether it's a job loss, as it was in my case, or it could be from a heartbreak, from a breakup, it could be from so many different things. And then it sort of, you go into this dark night of the soul, this sort of feeling of absolute despair, and you crack open and that's when the light gets in and you wake up to this whole new world. After my spiritual awakening, I, or I would say at the start of my spiritual awakening, I was actually seeing a life coach at the time. She was instrumental in it, definitely a karmic relationship. And I had stumbled upon her in the most random way too, which usually happens. And normally I would never have seen a life coach, but I just felt this urge to go see her and I followed my intuition. And I remember saying to her one day, I feel like the universe is talking to me. And that's a sentence that would have never come out of my mouth. But I said it to her and she said, oh, you're in the 5D, you're going into the 5D. And I remember saying to her, what's the 5D? And that was sort of the beginning of this long, amazing, beautiful journey I've been on. At the time uh, when I started to wake up, for me, it was the numbers and just tons of synchronicities. If I say the numbers and you have an idea what that means, it is then you're probably on the same path I was on or something similar. But I started seeing the number 22 everywhere. And I mean, when I say everywhere, I was seeing it 100 times a day. Then I was seeing 222 everywhere, whether it was on my phone or if I was on Instagram and a picture had 222 likes or 222 comments, or if it was on license plates, or I would buy something and the receipt would say 222. It was literally everywhere. I thought I was losing my mind. And then I started seeing all the triple digit numbers, 111, 333, 999. And I still see them to this day, probably, I don't know, anywhere from 10 to 50 times a day. And it's just, it's I've accepted it as part of my life and the numbers are everywhere. They're called angel numbers, and you can look them up and see what they mean or what someone else thinks they mean. You can always, what I've done is assign my own meaning to them, and you know, they're, they're something to not get attached to, but just to kind of see, acknowledge it, and just keep going. So I was seeing the numbers, I was having all these synchronicities, and a synchronicity is a meaningful coincidence. And for example, I had this list of things I wanted to accomplish, and one of them was to interview this specific person that is a celebrity in Dubai. And one day I was in Abu Dhabi, and I was at this random, random mall doing a modeling photo shoot um, thing for this skincare brand. And I was coming down just this side escalator and at the very bottom of the escalator standing there was the person I wanted to interview. And I just remember thinking to myself, what is going on? Because beforehand I never had, well, I never, I never 
felt like the universe was interacting with me so much. I will say I was always, I've always been very intuitive. I was a highly intuitive kid. I'm a water sign and I have a lot of water in my chart. And I, you know, I, I wouldn't say I was psychic, but I definitely had gifts that I didn't tap into, but they were always there. My mom used to call me a witch, not in a bad way, but she would just, she always said to me, you have the gift, you have the gift but I never did anything with it. It was more of my party trick. <laughs> it was just this party trick I had. I could also, I've only been wrong twice. I can guess, I always know exactly what um, gender a child is when a woman's pregnant. I know exactly what they're having. I've only been wrong two times. I've probably been right 200 times. So these things started happening to me, but I had, I didn't know what was going on. And my husband is, he's very asleep in that sense. And he's someone that he's traumatized from his own upbringing. He grew up in a very religious family and he doesn't believe in any of that. So he wants like nothing to do with the spiritual side of life. I grew up, uh, <laughs> I grew up kind of religious, not, I did not grow up religious at all, but my dad made us go to church. We went to an Episcopalian church. We never talked about church at home. We never talked about God or life or anything like that. There was absolutely no talk of it, but we had to go to church every Sunday. And so I never, you know, it just never resonated with me, but I would say that I believed in something higher, but in terms of religion just never resonated with me at all. So anyways, I'm now having this spiritual awakening and all these miraculous things are happening to me every day, these crazy coincidences. And I got this sudden urge to explore. And that's what you need to do when you have a spiritual awakening. It is explore, 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 explore. Anything that just, all these things suddenly became interesting to me. Crystals, I, I mean, I used to collect rocks, like the shiny little crystal rocks when I was a kid from this nature center that we go to, but I was never that into crystals. And now I'm very much, actually you can see all my bracelets. Um, but I started like being fascinated by crystals. I got into tarot. I started getting tarot readings. I bought tarot cards. I was bought tarot books and started reading through them. I started meditating. I was listening to guided meditations on YouTube. I was listening to Hertz um, frequencies on YouTube. There are different frequencies you can listen to that make you, they can heal your body, they can repair DNA, they can put you in certain vibes, and they're really good to listen to. A lot of the music that is actually on the radio is ra music that brings you down and it makes you feel a bit low. It lowers your frequency. Listening to Hertz music higher, ups your frequency. I read the book, I bought the book, The Universe Has Your Back by Gabby Bernstein, which I never thought I would buy a book like that, but I did and I read it. And in that book, she talks about how to ask for a sign. And I started asking for signs and then I would get the sign. And then I would ask for a sign to confirm the sign. And I would always ask for really random things that I did not see in my everyday life just to prove it to me if there was, if this was actually happening or not. And I would always get them, always get them. Uh, and I just, I began exploring anything that was interesting to me, yoga, doing, um, going to spiritual centers and doing like group meditations, doing workshops. I started doing all of that stuff. And I learned about the chakras in the body and what they mean. I found out that, well, at the time I had incredibly, uh, I don't, is, I don't know if this is, I, I was incredibly, um, handicapped. Can I say that? I don't know if that's, if that's offensive, I, I apologize. I don't mean to, um, incredibly stunted by my self doubt. That's what I'm trying to say. I had so much self doubt. I would get, if I had to talk even in front of a group of my friends, I would feel, you know, my heart pounding. And I just, I had very low self-worth. And I just, I had all this stuff that was really tra trauma from my childhood that I had to really work through. And I started to learn how to do that. 
I took so many different little day spiritual retreats. I was constantly reading about spiritual stuff. I followed uh, Aaron Doughty a lot on YouTube. He was really, he was really great for me um, in the beginning. He kind of brought me through so much stuff. And I started just finding, or these spiritual mentors kind of came to me in different ways. And I learned something from everyone. And so it really has been just a time of deep exploration for me. And the thing about spirituality is you're not in a box with it. You don't have to conform to any rules to be spiritual. You just are. And I really like that. That that works for me. You know, I still like to be a bit of a glam girl. And I can do that while wearing my beads and, you know, putting my bubble of protection over myself and going about my day while meditating or astral traveling or doing whatever it is I want to do. I can still just be me because this is how... This is how I choose to express myself. I realize that I'm just, I'm this energy that's having this human experience. And that, you know, kind of changes your perspective in life. When I had my spiritual awakening and I started going through all this, it was as if my head completely turned and I remembered who I always was. Because before that, I was, I didn't remember. And the spiritual awakening helped me remember who I actually am, which has been incredible. Now, there are of course downsides to it. And one of them is that you will inevitably, maybe not, but there's people that just aren't gonna understand what you're going through and there's relationships that will probably end. I definitely lost some of my friendships, actually a very good friend of mine, but she just didn't understand this this new vibration I was in, this new, this, I was still me, but it just, the relationship was built on things like, um, very material things and probably a lot of gossip, at least on her part, not mine, but I just couldn't listen to it anymore. And I became self-advocating, which was something I wasn't before. And, you know, in my family, my husband is asleep, like I said before, but he's he keeps me grounded. If he if I wasn't with him, I'd probably float off into the other. But you know, I have two kids that also keep me grounded, and my mom is open to hearing about it, but she doesn't understand it because she hasn't experienced it herself. And I definitely would never explain this to my dad because he'd think I'm just crazy. But I do have one aunt who's also conscious, so she and I are able to discuss this stuff together. And you know, there's the light side of it, and then there's the dark side of it, which I like to just stay in the light. But I realize that my one of the things I wanna do with my life is to help to awaken others by sharing my own light. And so I like to do that through my skincare videos and my beauty videos because I truly feel that when women are taking care of themselves and they feel great on the outside, they're just going to, that's going to really start to transform the inside as well. And although beauty, of course, is an illusion, but you'll soon learn that everything's an illusion. <laughs> so that's, that's how it's been. And there's been lots of ups and downs. I... I feel like I am a different person every single month because I just learn new things. I, and it, it's, it's been wonderful. It's been wonderful. So if I can tell you anything, it's to explore and just start, you know, looking on, looking into anything that interests you. I will say, just be careful of who you follow. Don't ever get attached to any type of guru or a YouTuber or, um, an author or anything and always have discernment, which means just say to yourself, does this feel right to me? Does this resonate with me? If it doesn't, then you, you can just leave it. You don't have to, there, there are no guidelines that you must follow, you know? And if you find someone that says you have to be a vegan, you don't have to be a vegan. If you find someone that says you have to eat meat, you don't have to eat meat. You know, you have to decide what's best for you at this point in your life. And I was doing spiritual things while I was still drinking wine. It's just that I've, my body, oh, I don't think I mentioned this, but um, one thing that did happen to me is as you raise your frequency, there are things that are just lower frequencies that you can't tolerate anymore. For instance, it was that one friend of mine, I just couldn't take it anymore. I could not take the, the constant just gossip, but also my body stopped accepting caffeine. 
and I was getting very, very sick when I would just have my usual coffee. So I got rid of caffeine and then I ended up getting rid of alcohol, which made me a little sad because I love my wine or I, I mean, I still do love my wine. I just don't drink it anymore. So, but my body is much happier and also it's just helped me spiritually. So as your frequency raises, you'll see that there's just things that no longer work for you and that's okay. This is a process, it's evolving, it's a journey and be patient with yourself and just explore everything. And don't get attached to any guru. If someone calls them a guru, then do not, do not follow them. In my opinion, just don't follow them. Um, if someone has a massive, massive following, just be just use your discernment. Do their messages resonate with me or not? So the ending of that is just to explore. And if you want to know a little bit more about this karmic event that started, well, was part of my spiritual awakening, uh, the video should be up hopefully by the time you see this and it's right here. And let me tell you, it's such a good one to watch because it actually came full circle and I had the sweetest, best um, uh, completion of that karmic cycle. So that's that. Take a deep breath, explore, and enjoy.